Hi guys, I wanted to do a little bit better update this time around. It's been a while since I've done a nice video and so I thought I'd get out the video editing software and do a little bit of cool stuff for you. So what you're looking at here is the new servo motor that came, my 3441S servo motor from Technic and it's now allowing me to machine with a fully operational Z axis. So I have my X, my Y, and my Z all working together in concert with one another to make three-dimensional motion-controlled parts. So I'm doing a little bit of cool work here with my picture-in-picture uh, -picture frame and I have a fixed camera sitting there watching the spindle nice and close so you can see it cutting chips. And then some more comical video out here where I'm pointing at things and dodging the chips flying at me and trying not to get burned by the red hot pieces of aluminum coming off of there. This actually was the second or third one that I did and uh, it's funny because I didn't have the machine messed up to the point where it is when I'm done with part number seven. I actually cut seven of these total and it looks like a snowstorm in there. It's just literally two inches of aluminum chips all over everywhere. I had to keep just brushing them away as I was putting a new part in because there's no point cleaning in between. So uh, I had a lot of fun with this. My buddy came over and he was heckling me the whole time as I was doing this. Um, my wife did a little bit of video and it was just a lot of fun actually. So we were going through and videoing this process and trying to record it. but. What happened is, you know, when I got the grant from Ben Franklin, yeah, everyone's going to yell at me, quit reaching in there with a moving spindle, but ah, screw it, you know, if you want to help me, come on over. In the meantime, I might reach in and do something that's a little bit dangerous. I wasn't that close to it, you know, it's, it's not like my finger was more than five, six inches away, and I was just adjusting the airflow, so don't get too excited, okay? All you safety Nazis out there. Did I just say that out loud? Anyway, I get a lot of uh, people on YouTube heckling me and giving me hell for different things. And where are the numbers? Why haven't you put any numbers out? You know, this is all a big hoax, but you know what? Oh, and the music, holy crap. You'd swear to God that everyone is freaking, all they want to do is, is yell at me because I had the music loud in that first video. But listen guys, nothing in that first video was meant to be heard. Everything was meant to be read. My buddy tried to give me some advice to put everything up in words and and then, you know, just have music playing. So I tried it and, eh, you know, I got mixed reviews. Some people hated it. Many people hated me for it. I don't know. So here we go. I have the music nice and soft and uh, I'm talking over it, doing a little picture in picture thing here. And I figured I'll just talk my way through it. But Back to Ben Franklin, $10,000 grant, got that to finish my prototype, and uh, their goal is to help me finish the prototype so I can get the numbers, and then we can see if we have a viable company to move forward. Well, of course, my hope is to have an incredibly viable company that I'm helping to bring these amazing new wind turbines to the market, and yeah, I got some freaking crazy people out there yelling at me saying this isn't new you idiot this has been around for years well <laughs> you know hello the invention process everything amazing that we have today is you know it's just a reinvention of things that have already a re-implementation so to speak of things that have already been invented so yeah i mean certain parts of this uh, those pieces are going to exist in other technologies. It doesn't mean that this isn't a new invention. It doesn't mean that I don't have something proprietary here. I've put together a whole bunch of pieces into a new device, this vertical axis wind turbine design of mine. So what I'm machining right here is the actual scoops. And, uh, it, you know, I could have paid $2,000, $3,000 to have these machined and sent off to a manufacturer or a fabricator and get them back. But if I realized, oh crap, I screwed up, I didn't think about this or think about that, then I'd be $3,000 poorer and have no way of, you know, making new ones if I'm 
doing this two or three times, I've blown through the $10,000. Um, so what I was able to do is stretch my budget tremendously by doing the work myself, getting my machine up and running in full CNC 3D capabilities. You know, what you're seeing here is what would be happening at a machine shop if I took this somewhere and paid thousands of dollars to have it done, except I can make unlimited parts for the raw materials. All I have to do is buy the raw materials and put it in a little time and now I can make my own parts. So that's what I'm doing. I'm machining the very important turbine scoops for each of these blade pairs. They have to go above and below the scoops and be precisely machined to allow them to line up and hold the scoop securely while at the same time opening and closing so they can furl and unfurl. And uh, in the next couple weeks, I'll actually be starting to put the turbines together. So that's going to really be exciting. You're going to see the videos where I'm putting these together and building the stack up. It's going to be uh, five blade pairs. So it'll be 10 scoops total. You know, obviously they're in pairs. Ooh, this music's a little weird. Oh, well. <laughs> I have it on one. I can't make it any softer, guys, so I do apologize. Just turn your volume down if it's a little bit too loud. It's on one, so I don't. I can't go any lower than that. Zero mutes it. Um, basically, these are going to be five sets of scoops. It'll be um, each of them is offset from the next one below, so you get the helix effect as it goes up. And the total size of this unit for the residential prototype here is going to be about four feet wide when it's opened, fully unfurled, by about five feet tall. Um, each of the scoops are one foot tall and you know I know I have people out there on the site asking for the uh, wow this music's a little bit weird <laughs> I know I have people asking for the blueprints they want to fabricate this but listen I've done open source for 20 years and I was hoping that someone out there would take a look at my work and be like wow this guy really did some amazing stuff let's hire him it never happened so I'm taking the bull by the horns. I'm gonna do my own work. I'm gonna start my own company and we're gonna build something amazing together. You know, anyone out there who wants to join me, who wants to be part of this team is welcome. I'm open to any and all uh, people with different talents. There's gonna be a lot of different needs, engineering, marketing, advertising, sales, you know, you name it. This is, think of it like Tesla or Dyson. This is my first product coming out of creating more that's going to help to change the world, make the world a better place. So, you know, let's build it together. Let's make it something that helps everyone, not just make some company rich or makes you and I a ton of money. I mean, yeah, it's nice to think about making a lot of money with this, but uh, all I need to do is make enough money to be able to live comfortably and I'll be happy. I don't. Ever, I never wanted to be rich. I never wanted to be famous. So let's make the world a better place. Let's start with the project that I've already got going on. That's super cool. Let's do it together. Let's build it and uh, see where it goes. I'm excited to see where the numbers land for this uh, prototype. I've got the uh, Masonic villages here in Pennsylvania dying to have these on their campus and test them for me, see how they perform. They've been looking to have vertical axis wind turbines for a while, so I'm going to use them as a test case. I've already got probably 10, 12 different people on the you know, websites, Facebook and everywhere asking to test these, but um, you know, I need to take it slow in the beginning and get good and careful numbers and see where, it, see where it's at. So stay tuned for more videos coming soon about Harmony vertical axis wind turbines. Take care.